A Nobel Prize winning scientist has resigned from his role at University College London after making supposedly sexist comments. So Tim Hunt told a conference in South Korea, let me tell you about my trouble with girls. Three things happen when you're in the lab. You fall in, they, you fall in love with them, they fall in love with you. And when you criticise them, they cry. He then made an apology of sorts on the radio. It's terribly important that you um, can criticise people's ideas without criticising them. And if they burst into tears, it means that you tend to hold back from, you know, getting at the absolute truth. I mean, what science is about nothing except getting at the truth. And anything that gets in the way of that diminishes, in my experience, the science. I mean, I'm really, really sorry that uh, I caused any offence. That's awful. Well, today he stood down as honorary professor at UCL. So has he got what he deserved or is it political correctness gone mad? Well, joining us in the studio is Lucy Collins, a PhD student from UCL, who is from the WISE campaign, which aims to get more women into science, and the journalist Milo Yernopoulos. Thank you both so much for, for joining us. Um, I'm going to start first with you, Lucy. Is it true? Do, do women get in the way? Um, definitely not. Um, in my experience, I've, I don't know what type of lab he's working in. It sounds like a soap opera, um, but I've definitely not seen that at all. And um, when it comes to, I know he mentioned about having single sex labs. Well, that's not at all what um, business diversity is about. It's about diversity. In any business situation, you need to have a diverse team, whether it's women, men, um, people from different backgrounds, yeah. because that was that is what makes an effective team. And it's been seen that the most successful teams yeah. are those that are diverse. Well, um, Milo, I mean, he has come under a lot of criticism for this and has been accused of being sexist. Is that something that you would agree with? No, and I think most people are getting a bit irritated by these witch hunts now. Um, what we've really seen is a comment that was, I think, relatively unobjectionable. If it were to be made by, say, your granddad, I mean, remember the guy's 73, mm. or oh, 76 maybe, um, you know, if it was made by your granddad, perhaps at a family lunch, you know, you'd laugh it off. And mm. I think that's what we should be doing. But, but the thing is, though, Milo, was wasn't at a family lunch, it was a public stage, which is a no, massive the, difference. Well, it is a difference, but the, prob the problem here is that um we continue to see these sort of outrage mobs on Twitter and people getting very upset about stuff like this. And the underlying philosophy behind this is that somehow um, there's a sort of patriarchal mm. um, sort of system of oppression that is hurting women, that is preventing women from going into science. Yeah. And comments like this sort of underscore mm. a negative and an oppressive and a hostile atmosphere so is toward that women. That, that it's you... not true. That's not okay. the reason women aren't going into science. Okay. The... Why do you think the reason is? And then we'll, we'll come to you to, to, sure. to well, reply. What the evidence says, actually, mm -hmm. um, is that as societies get more equal, if you go, for example, from Bangladesh to Norway, mm -hmm. fewer women go into science. When they have more options, society, societies get more equal and women have more opportunities. Actually, yeah. they choose to go into science less. Well, um, uh, Lucy, would you agree with that, that actually women aren't uh, oppressed when it comes to wanting to go into, into STEM? Um, not really. I mean, we still see when you go into secondary schools and schools in general, that the main issue that we're seeing coming out of our research is that actually the society's views and the lack of um, showing that there are successful female scientists out there is making girls decide, oh, we're not STEM, mm -hmm. as in we're not, that's not the subject for us. Um, and that has a massive impact on what they're choosing because they then say, are thinking and getting this image yeah. that that's not for them because that's mm -hmm. not what society thinks they should be doing. Yeah. And therefore, they're not choosing those subjects and therefore they're losing the opportunity to mm -hmm. study post 18. Oh, well, well, Lucy and Milo, I know you're desperate to jump in, but that's what <laughs> we've got time for, I'm afraid, okay. Milo. But thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks. Thank you.